So when I did the video yesterday showing uh, the some of the brown leaves and stuff on my blackberry plants, I noticed this. I've got an issue. I've got a tub, wicking tub, that has busted from top to bottom. That's a problem. Let me tell you what I think happened. Uh, let me tell you what I think I'm going to do to remedy it or how I'm going to remedy it. Uh, maybe a little delicate operation. I'm not sure. But uh, let's talk about it. Okay, what happened? Well, several of you said that the reason that I was losing uh, so many leaves and, and so many uh, canes getting dry and, and dying was because they had become root bound. Well, personally, I think they were root bound from year one. I mean, it doesn't take long for a blackberry plant to just really distribute a lot of roots. That's number one. Number two, I don't know that being root bound, quote, root bound for a blackberry plant in a container is a bad thing, simply because that blackberry plant reproduces itself from the roots. And I've mentioned this before that I just, I just didn't know when I did this, uh, nobody else was doing it. So I didn't know, you know, how, how, long the, how long the tubs would last. I was hoping they'd last five years. This has been three, I think, or f close to four. Plus I was feeding the cows out of them for, you know, all winter. So they're, they were a year old as far as the tubs go. The tubs were a year old when I put them into service. So they're four years old. I was hoping to get five or six, seven years. And the rest of them look good. I went, uh, went and looked at the rest of them. The rest of them look real good. So it's not endemic, it's isolated so far. <laughs> that, that can always change. So um, again, I, I, I know they're root bound and I know there's plenty of roots in there. Just from the first year, I've, I've tried to fertilize from the top and I've tried to dig, dig a hole in the top, you know, come in here and kind of kind of dig down and so, so I could put some fertilizer in there. And there were roots it was just packed with roots. So I, you know, I know the thing is root bound, but I don't know if that's a problem. Uh, I'm tr going to try to contact the guy that did, that uh, developed these blackberries. I've, I've uh, communicated with him two or three times and uh, from University of Arkansas and just ask him, A, what is the lifespan of a Primark Freedom or any of the blackberries that they uh, breed? And ask him also about the containers and the root bound situation. So that's, that's something I need to learn probably before I, I go any further. So I'm not going to do this today. Um, I've got I've to think about it. Uh, I don't think it's going to be terribly hard to do, but it's not going to be terribly easy either, simply because I've got drip irrigation in it. I've got trellis wire. Uh, you know, that's going to make it a little bit more uh, difficult for me. So I don't know whether being root bound is actually bad for a blackberry since they reproduce from their roots. Anyway, um, and this is on the west side. The hot sun in the summertime would have been hitting on these sides. Again, this is the only one that split, but uh, this being on the west side, it did get uh, exposed to a lot of heat this year because we had a, a very hot summer. So what I plan to do after I learn a little bit about root boundness and um, and l even lifespan of the berries. If they've been in the containers, I don't know, if this is my, we'll go, be going into my fourth year next year. So I've had them in the containers a little over three years. Uh, and do they have a five-year lifespan, seven-year lifespan? I don't know. I've got plenty of blue tubs. That's not a problem. I can just move from one to another, but I just don't know about the root boundness. I need to check with the expert on that. So what I plan to do is remove this trellis wire. Um, I'll probably have to cut my drip system. That would just make it easier for me. Just cut it and then splice it together. Uh, and then I'll pull this tub out. Now I'll, I'll video it all for you. I'll pull this tub out, lay it down gently, and try to pull the blackberry plant out of the tub. Now I've done this once before and I meant to show it to you but I only took pictures of it and not video so it really didn't lend itself to a video. So what I found when I pulled the other plants out of the wicking tubs and they were trees, uh, apple and uh, maybe fig too I think, but what I found was the roots kind of got down into that pipe, that corrugated pipe that's in the bottom of it. Didn't get in the pipe. It stopped just like it's supposed to. It stopped at the pipe. Some of them little hair roots was penetrating that, uh, that 
membrane, that uh, landscape cloth. Wasn't a big deal. In fact, it looked like to me it was working exactly like it was supposed to work. So I think I can just ease that plant out. Might take two people, not sure. And then I'll make a, another wicking tub out of the, uh, the corrugated pipe that's in this one and just punch a hole in the side, a, a, a weep hole in the side and slide back in, stand it up, slide. I, I don't think it may be heavy, it may be too much for one person, but I don't think it's going to be a, a terrible situation. What I might also do, I'll, I'll take all these dead canes off of it because this one's got a few and I'll try to uh, maybe bind them together, maybe tie a string around them and, and tie them up together, almost like you would sheaves of wheat. And, uh, and that way when I, when I lay it down, I shouldn't be pinching any, any, uh, any of these uh, canes that are drooping or whatever. And then come in here and cut the wire, cut the drip line. Those can both be spliced. Pull it out, lay it down, pull the plant out, and I think it should come out pretty easy. I think I had I struggled a little bit with one of them. These been in here so long, those roots, I don't know where they are. They may really be in that landscape cloth. I really don't know. But I think I can do that, slide a, um, another tub next to it, and, um, and just slide the plant back in, stand it upright, slide it back in, fix all my splices, my wire and my drip line. And I should be in business. Even when I did the trees, I didn't put the trees back in the pot. I put the trees in the ground. So I've never tried to put one, one of these back in the pot. Now, here's the, here's the dilemma. I think I'm gonna experiment with this one by when I pull it out, if it is just a solid mass of roots, and I fully expect it to be. What I plan to do, I've seen it done with fig trees. It's called root pruning. If a fig tree gets root bound in a container, a lot of times they'll go in there and they'll just slice off you know, if you if you got a big container like this, they'll just slice, I mean, big chunks of root out of it and just leave maybe root that big around instead of 20 inches around. So I may come in here with a um, with a knife or a machete or something like that and probably will just to experiment on this one and see if if it does better than the rest of these, then I'll know that all of them are root bound and being root bound is a problem. So uh, I'm going to do that experiment just so you'll know and I'll know uh, if being root bound um, affects the plant, if it's, if it's a, a deterrent uh, to growth or to longevity, either one. So that's what I plan to do. It may be a week or two or three before I do that. Just wanted to let you know that I do have a big, big split and uh, let you know how I'm going to fix it. And, um, you know, I could come in here probably and just tape that up, put some Gorilla Tape on it or put something, you know, and seal it up real good. But I'm kind of interested in dumping one out and seeing what it looks like on the inside, seeing what the root structure, what root system looks like. And um, yeah, just kind of kind of see where we go from there. The hole, the split goes all the way down. I mean, just an inch from the bottom. So anytime I'm watering from the top, uh, the reservoir is only holding looks like just from where the from where the uh, weep hole is and where that crack is looks like the reservoir is only holding an inch inch and a half of water instead of three inches of water I, I just saw it yesterday so I really think that it's just it, it's I think it just happened that's what I'm saying I think it's very recent within the last day or two week at the most because I would have seen it it's pretty obvious <laughs> In fact, it was in the video yesterday. None of y'all caught it. I caught it while I was videoing, but I didn't want to stop saying anything about it because I knew I had to do a little bit in, more in-depth video about the situation we have. So that's what I plan to do. And you'll see when I see uh, just how root bound they are. I fully, again, fully expect them to be full of roots. I mean, packed tight with roots. I just don't know if that is bad on a plant that reproduces next year's canes from the root system um, but if i trim those roots off if i prune those roots and give them opportunity to to spread and then send up new canes and this this tub does a lot better next year because of that then i'll know that root boundness um, uh, can affect longevity but again i really really feel like they've been root bound since the first year um, 
I think it, I think within the first year they fill that thing up. Now something else I could do, and I'm considering this, because these blue tubs just don't last that long, I'm considering putting all of these in earth boxes. Now you, earth boxes look smaller, um, and I would, <laughs> I would definitely have to trim the root system off to get them in an earth box, but an earth box really has the same, I mean, when I, I've done a lot of earth boxes, I've done a lot of wicking tubs, and I put about three cubic feet of, um, two, two, and, two and three quarters to three cubic feet of soil potting mix from a bag in a wicking tub, and I put about two and three quarters to three cubic feet of potting mix in an earth box. In fact, I think I would probably put less an inch or so less in it and then put uh, wood chips or something on top just as a good covering on it because so you don't get so many weed seeds and stuff blow in there anyway that's my problem i don't you know i don't think it's a problem we can't overcome you and i both together but um, just expect if you're in containers sooner or later your containers are going to give way um, just a matter of when i don't know how long is typical i've heard mr leon say he thought they would last five to seven years i'm coming up on year four that i've had plants in them but uh, it would be year five because the containers were at least a year old and some of them probably two or three years old and had been out in the sun and stuff like that um, because of the winter feeding of the cows in the syrup, uh, syrup tubs. So this, this may be one of my older tubs. This may be one, you know, one of the first ones I bought for the cows and it's just, uh, it's just giving away or maybe a weak spot in it or they may all bust next week. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know, but that's what we're going to do. And, uh, just be aware that this, uh, if you're in containers, unless they're in, you're in hard containers, if you're in wicking tubs, sooner or later, you're going to have to think about doing this. So you might want to get some extra tubs to, uh, to replace, uh, what you've got or put them in an earth box and, uh, earth boxes last 15, 20 years. Earth box will probably outlast the, um, uh, the blackberry plants. I'm just, I'm, I'm positive of that. So that, that's one reason I'm considering the earth boxes. They may not get quite as big in an earth box. Uh, I had one in an earth box and it did great. It did fine. But, um, I gave it to my neighbor and he pulled it out and put it in the ground. Uh, I got my earth box back. So, uh, I don't know long term. It had been in the earth box two years and it was looking good. So, you know, I just really feel like and I, I need to ask him if, I think he said it was just one solid mass of roots when he pulled it out of there. Because I told him it probably would be, and I believe he said it was just like I told him it was going to be. Um, so anyway, that's our problem. We're going to fix it, though. I promise you. All right. We're gone.